Hello, welcome to Working with Miniatures. I'm Jim, and today we're going to be painting the 2006 Christmas Sophie by Reaper Miniatures. We're using our painter speed paints and war paints. Let's get started. Right after a pair of his bus of water. Damn it, Elon. Get out of here. Go, 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 go. I start on the jumpsuit with plasmatic bolt that's been thinned with glaze medium. Because parts of the boots and pouches and other flourishes will be painted white, I'll be taking my time to carefully paint around those areas to avoid having to clean up around reactivation issues. Without waiting for the base coat to dry, I mix plasmatic bolt with a darker speed paint and apply this only where the light would reach the least, such as in the folds of the cloth and under areas. I repeat the same steps for the pink boots, goggles, gloves, belt, and jacket using Purple Alchemy for the base coat, followed by a one-to-one -one mix of Purple Alchemy and Hive Dweller Purple for the shade. I then paint the hair and varnish. I then begin to work on the flesh. This is mostly the same colors as the previous Sophie miniatures I've painted, but I decided to take a different approach since this miniature is so much larger. I start with the base coat of Jasper skin and will be layering my way up, down, and then back up again. I then apply a 75 to 85% coverage highlight with tanned flesh. I then follow this with a 60 to 70% highlight with Dorado skin. The next highlight is done with a mix of Dorado skin and Amber skin and I begin to cover even less surface area of the flesh. I follow this up with a highlight of pure amber skin and again I cover increasingly less surface area. I then mix amber skin and corpse pale at a 1 to 1 ratio and apply an additional lesser highlight. Thinning down garnet pigment toner I glaze this under the cheek, sides of the necks and into the cleavage. Moving back to the clothing, I begin the first sets of highlights on the jumpsuit with a one-to-one -one mix of Royal Cloak and Toxic Mist. The final highlight on the jumpsuit is with Toxic Mist. This I only add a tiny amount of water to thin it down with as I find it easier doing finer highlights with paint that's just a little bit thicker. I wasn't happy with the flesh so I added some flesh wash and then I ended up glazing amber skin and dorado skin back and forth until I was happy with the result. With the flesh finished I moved to the boots, belts, goggles, gloves, and jacket and apply a highlight of warlock purple. I follow this up with a lesser highlight of pixie pink. Again I don't thin this very much I only use just a little bit of water on the brush. With the rest of the clothing completed, I turn to the parts that will be painted white and lay down volumetric highlights of spaceship exterior. The second lesser highlight is done with matte white. I painted the hair off camera and using a fine tip brush painted in hair strands inside of the goggles before filling the goggle space with Tester Clear Part Cement and Window Maker. When the milky liquid dries, it will be reflective like glass. Moving on to the snowboard, I try my hand at the most rudimentary of freehand work, adding a yellow line all the way around the top of the board before flipping the piece and painting the text and skull. For such a thin line, I only add one highlight of a brighter yellow to places where overhead light would reach the most. I wanted to quickly point out that as I was getting ready to start on the base, the speed paint on the boots and rabbit reactivated through the white base coat. I should have varnished before adding anything white. This is a final result. For lessons learned, I knew better than to try and add white paint around unvarnished speed paint. 
Also, when painting clothing this vibrant, I should have brightened the inside sections of the wings. They seem incredibly dark, though I do want the clothing to be the main focal point. Other than that, I'm very happy with this miniature, and may go as far as to say this may quite possibly be the best miniature I've painted to date. I am especially loving the colors used on the jacket and jumpsuit. The eyes came out pretty decent as well. Gonna wrap it up for today. I hope you learned something or inspired to start or expand your own collection. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you like the content of this video, would like to see more, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm Jim with Working with Miniatures. I'm truly grateful for your time. And I bid you a fond farewell. Till the next video.